Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we look at unheard of news that I dug up from looking through a lot of tweets and Discord messages, etc. And these are a lot of things that barely anybody knows about. So this video is a must watch. But before we get into it, make sure to smash that subscribe button and leave a like on the video as it really does help the channel out. And without further ado, why don't we jump? right into it. Oh yeah, also, join the Discord. Let's go. So the Piggy event is finally back live and we are getting cash significantly faster to get part to get to part two compared to what we were doing at the start, which is actually really good. We also know that Part 2 is 100% a boss fight as it has been confirmed multiple times by the manager of Mad City, the Mad City account, and also a couple of Mad City devs, which is super exciting. The boss fight will happen as soon as the 50 billion is reached globally, and we're currently at over 400 million since the event has been up. That is the time of writing this. Today, there was a bit of a mess with data stores, however, everything is significantly better now, so I think that we will continue getting it faster as more things are going to grind. I do, however, have big news for the future of Mad City and future updates that I am super excited to share. From reading a series of tweets from the developers, I found out that Stefan said that the Piggy event was actually meant to be a fast thing for the programmers to do. However, it ended up taking a very long time and much longer than anticipated, which is why we went so long without an update. They said that once the Piggy event is finally over, the team can focus on other updates instead of events. They found out that events take a lot more effort and time to perfect, so they're start going to start doing content updates as they're a lot easier. A direct quote from Stefan, uh, well, from his tweet, the PE event was meant to be a short event which wasn't focused heavily for our programmers to get to catch up time on bugs. It turned out way longer that it turned out a way longer update than expected. We won't be focusing on events anymore and we will be focusing on updates which fix the issues our players have with the game. That confirms what I just said, which I am really excited because that would include new updates and in a previous tweet he said since chapter 2 released I'm constantly looking for feedback to adjust our game we have some changes to the loop coming soon but I'm not sure I can reveal them yet that is big as he said changes to the loop which is most likely regarding the meta of Mad City and general things that you are also doing it also means that what the community said is actually taken into consideration which is also actually said in another tweet and even better something that actually going to come in into the game which is super exciting as i know a lot of mad city community's ideas are absolutely amazing as i have seen some of them myself this would revive the game a lot and get it off its restraints and into the sky once again if the really good ideas end up in the real game as it would attract more players from these ideas as the devs are fully grown adults, whereas the majority of the player base is unfortunately under 16, meaning that the average player may have much different ideas of what's entertaining compared to the game developers. We know from a lot of past games that developers listening to their communities is a thing that revives almost any game from death, and I hope with my whole entire heart that this will be the same for Man City as the player count has dropped significantly since the release of Chapter 2, which, as I have said it in previous videos, would be extremely underwhelming for the developers since they spent so long on an update and it didn't receive well with the community. Some more news on future updates that we know will come from previous tweets is new cars, customizations, and weapons, etc. Something even bigger that could possibly have more components to it is that we recently found out from the Mad City studio manager, Ali, well, one other thing that they said is that they will start doing bi-weekly updates as soon as the Piggy event is over, which essentially means that 
as soon as the PE event is over, we're starting with the bi-weekly updates. So let's get up that cash grind. But anyway, back to the main point. So Ali hinted towards a new bank heist. Originally reading that, I thought it would just be them saying that they enjoy the chapter two bank heist as it is technically new, but the winky emoji afterwards proves that otherwise. I think that this opens up the idea of them adding new heists as it is more likely that they would want to add a new heist before revamping or adding another variation of another heist when it has only recently been revamped as all of the heights were revamped in chapter 2. This could also open up a whole entire new bridge of opportunities like the new variation of the bank robbery which means that they would also most likely be doing the same thing for other heists. This could make it likely we can see a new variation of the casino or the jewelry store and maybe even some newer variations of the pyramid and the club and on top of that probably new heists which will make the game grinding less repetitive if there are multiple ways to do a heist and even more heists as at the moment it feels like once you do the heist there actually isn't a lot. This would be similar to the pyramid and club uh, how there are two pyramids and three clubs all of them are quite different. Club is less so as it's just one floor that changes however pyramid the whole entire heist apart from the grabbing chest, cash changes. By the way, if anyone is still here, then thanks so much. Why don't you give me a sub and join my Discord as it will be greatly appreciated and it may vary your life and give a new variation. If you know what I mean. Some sort of new news that I also just found really interesting but it isn't actually that important to the grand scheme of the game was that it got revealed that Man City calculates and watches over everything. Here is a screenshot. Digging into this, we can see some of it is blurred and obviously we can see that they look at how many arrests, how many crystals dropped by hero, kills by bullet type and most likely significantly more if they have this. Something that Ali said that they are going to add soon is a way to see how many players leave from one spot of the map. So with their last place was before they left, which is basically tracking where the players are leaving the game so they can tell if a heist is too hard or boring. This could make the general average community player that may find an obby hard die less if the robbery is easier, which hopefully could keep those types of players in the game for longer aka reviving as a lot of people left the game in Mad City due to the high spin too hard which is one of the reasons why chapter 2 saw such a large player drop compared to the previous chapter. So that is it for this video and these are all of the things that I found in, out in the last two days from basically stalking all of the developers of Mad City and also reading through a lot of chat and the previous message sent by messages sent by all of the developers and staff management team of Mad City. So it did have quite a lot of preparing. And hopefully we'll start getting even more information about the future and even more hopefully start getting these new updates ASAP. And I'm super excited. So if you did enjoy this, make sure to smash that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.